Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy Jay Stein coming at you with an update. Talking about oil rigs this time. Obviously, the oil market is pretty uh, in in my my purview, uh, my radar, if you would. A, uh, most of you don't know that's the industry that I come from, so it's a little close to my heart, even though it's broken my heart, and then put it back together, and then broke it again. Anyways, so the benchmark on um, oil field activity is the Baker Hughes, uh, Baker Hughes rig count, and all that says is exactly what it says, um, how many rigs are in the field drilling, and it actually shot up today. Um, nothing dramatic, only I think it said like by nine rigs uh, got put out or put ordered out for the uh, here in the field or the oil fields of the United States. So that in itself isn't necessarily dramatic. However, the fact that it did it in correlation with the price action and the price increase um, of oil uh, due to what happened over in the Middle East and, and things that are going to continue to happen uh, that does speak volume. So for those who don't really pay attention to the to the H Baker Hughes uh, rig count, when you see it, pay attention to it. Uh, because if it starts to decline, that's telling you less drillers are drilling. Uh, if it starts going up, more oil companies are drilling. So um, whether or not that that has something to do with the price action i mean it is it's exactly what it is i believe um these companies aren't just going to come out and just randomly start drilling unless there's a reason to um and the fact that it happened so quickly leads me to believe that it's going to continue to increase thus meaning we're going to continue we're going to start producing more oil uh more than we already are which is good for me because of my etf that i'm in uh, so that's cool. And that's an update. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a good day and I'll check in with you later.